Hey guys, welcome to another Steam Gaming video. Uh, sorry for the lag, but uh, I'm going to be having to make a new map soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll get that all sorted out. I'm hoping they come out with a new 64-bit version soon. That should be on the top of the priorities, in my opinion, getting a 64-bit version out to optimize the game. But, uh, today we're going to be testing a new wall design I have made just now and uh, I came up with this idea by putting uh, pillars at the end of my uh, runway for my uh, carrier to prevent uh, ships from crashing that are malfunctioning and trying to land from crashing into the and doing damage to the, the, some of the ships that they that you know the interior parts of the ship and the pillars basically stop the ship so I thought to myself what if uh, I turned these pillars into armor? I mean, it seems like it's pretty good, but basically what the entire the pillars do, they reflect the incoming object off of the ship, it seems. I tried to crash uh, one of these into it earlier, and uh, it just reflected right off, just reflected straight off the ship, and uh, it, seemed, it seemed like a pretty good defensive... Uh, Defensive tactic to put pillars on the on an, an interior in between a cavity between two armor pieces to uh, increase the uh, protection from objects like missiles and ships and stuff colliding with your ship. So I decided to give a demonstration of this, and then after that I'll show you the uh, gap between the blocks and how it's constructed. Of course, you can put thicker armor in front of the pillars, so it's like a last defense mechanism, but just lining the interior of your ship with pillars is a really good defensive capability, because it back bounces ships that will be colliding in with your ship off, so they can't do very much damage, and that gives you time to get away from that ship, or move out of the way of that ship, so it can't come in for another colliding pass. Here, we're going to demonstrate... what I'm talking about and as you can see this is a pretty armor penetrating missile it's got a sharp point and it's pretty good and we're gonna be colliding in with the hangar area that's the forward section of the ship gonna be trying to collide directly with it directly where those engines are And here we go. Now normally, a ship going at max speed would went straight through, just straight through the entire ship. And, uh, through the other side probably. Especially a ship of this nature of this long like how long this is and how pointy this is but with these beams in here it basically reflected the ship off as you can see it started backing up i was not pressing anything when it started backing up the uh the energy transfer reflected off these uh pillars reflected the ship off the uh the, the, sh the target it was hitting and as you can see there's minimal damage to the inside very minimal damage I can safely say that none of the interior of the ship would have been damaged from this if if your, your stuff isn't positioned too close to the walls. And as you can see here how uh, it's constructed, basically it's a wall on the inside and a wall on the outside. Now you can, you can add as many layers on the, on the other sides of the pillars as you want to to strengthen the walls, but the pillar, just the pillar anywhere in between your walls and the armor is going to reinforce your armor a lot from incoming objects to that are going to collide with your ship. Although it probably wouldn't be the same for weapons fire because I'm assuming you'll be able to shoot between these gaps, between the uh, pillars. So it's not a safe bet for weapons fire, but to reinforce the interior of your ship in certain sections that you don't want ships colliding into, like your reactor room, this would be a really nice thing to add in to make it to where ships cannot collide with it. Now I'll be back here in a minute so I can show you again how much uh, penetration it would get on a non-pillared area of the ship. Alright, be back here in a minute, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to crash into the top of the Mastodon this time. It's not... The top does not have pillars, uh, so... 
it's probably gonna uh, go all the way through I predict I have not tried this before but I'm guessing the ship is gonna collide straight through and go straight through the top and possibly straight to the bottom and this is an uh, area of the ship that is not armored with pillars and it's in the same forward section of the ship where the hangar is now I don't know how much pillars weigh but I'm um, I'm gonna check that afterwards to see how much uh, weight it would add on your ship but I'm assuming not very much all right, here we go. Let's see how much armor penetration it gets this time without the pillars. All right, let's take a look. Alright, as you can see, the top of the ship is layered with two th layers of armor. And it made a lot bigger hole. And it went all the way through and hit the bottom. And it did not get reflected. Which means this is going to be still in your ship, so if your ship would have been moving, this thing would have like, would have hung, clipped onto the ship, and probably would have done more damage because your ship moving in congruity with that ship right there would cause that ship to fall that would your ship would probably be going faster so that ship would probably hit this and do more damage right there but as you can see it got a lot more penetration on the area without the pillars in between the walls Alright guys, that concludes the video. I'll be bringing you another demonstration later with more thicker armor blocks. Say, like three blocks in front of the pillars and see how well that does in reflecting the damage of uh, incoming collision. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe, like, comment. Check out my, f my channel. Look for more videos. We'll be making a video of the Mastodon soon, which is a ship that I've been doing crashing this into and showing you once it gets com fully completed. I'll see you guys next time.